Hello everybody and welcome back to my beanbag. Um, today I'm kind of combining two previous videos. Uh, I recently was trying to work on something and I suddenly had an idea. And if you remember a while back, I showed you the first contact figures that I had made, including a few customs I had done, like this Tuvok. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that the Riker is the original series one that was made, that they actually did rib the shoulders. Well, for a lot of us customizers, it's hard to get copies of this figure in order to break them down and make duplicates. And so one idea that people have come up with is we just take and we paint the stripes to make that sort of ribbing look on there. But... It, you know, it, it kind of works if you step back, but if you want it to look good, you you either had to find one of these or just do without. Well, if you remember in that video, I had done a Jordy in the same uniform, and I had an idea and I experimented with it, and this is what he looks like now. If you look, you can see... The ribbing, and I know my color matching is not quite right. I still need to maybe touch that up. But it's got the exact same ribbing as Riker's uniform. The way I went about doing that was, if you remember in another video, I showed you this stuff. The polyplastic silicone mold putty. Well, what I did was I took that, mixed it up, and I took and encased... Commander Riker's shoulders with it. Left it to dry overnight. The next morning, came in, and you can see, picked up the details of the shoulders quite nicely. Once you've got that made, which I'll be having to make another one by using uh, my Deanna Troy, I put my sculpting compound in there made a real super thin layer and this is what comes out you can see it's just the shoulders and i will need to clean up the edges i'll get uh, a knife and scissors and i'll be cutting off the excess and what i'll actually do is thankfully the line is real clear there for the shoulders i will cut the shoulders off and glue them on separately uh, which is what I did for Jordy which is why he's still able to move his shoulder which does technically end up causing this slight little awkward separation but you know what it gets the look and that's what's more important to me um, the other thing I did figure out when I was working on Jordy was I took and I actually cut along the back here because I needed the tops of the shoulders to be two separate pieces because it does, it ends up being a little bit bigger when you uh, fit it around. You can kind of test fit. Let me. As you see, it's not because you're technically putting something that's the same size onto it and gluing it over. Uh, so you will probably have to. And that's what what I had to do was put a little bit of filler in. And what I recommend for gluing is something like this. Uh, don't use a regular uh, super glue because those typically dry in just a matter of minutes. Um, this Loctite is what I used. You get about 10 to 15 minutes that you can work with it and you can still kind of move it around before it becomes too tacky to start moving. And then it dries up in a couple of hours and you're good to work with it. And then you can paint it and uh, everything like that so yeah I wanted to show you how I did that um, remember that when you're using a knife or scissors to be careful because it can be difficult and cut you trust me I've had more than enough cuts on my fingers from knives so yeah that's it for this video try it out for yourselves and have a great day.